dealing with the one and only. Homie, homie, shout to Max and Janey back at a class, back with the academia. Yo, we at Hey, homie, homie. Hey, homie fam. We are back home in Dallas. Fresh off the plane from New York, and we wanted to make a video, like, quickly, uh, right after the moment, to capture, like, the essence of the trip. And we want to talk about our favorite three moments that we had at New our York Comic Con. Three. Top three. Starting from three, two to one. Dang, we were supposed to think about this, huh? Oh, I already know my three. <laughs> okay, so you go first, since you, you, okay. go, you say you're number three. Okay, my number three, first of all, Thank you to everybody that said hi to us, that kicked it with us. That, that hung out with us, that laughed with us. Gave us a that, hug. Like, that um, conversated, is that a word? Converse. 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 With, converse assisted One. with us. Um, it was so much fun. I I always say this. that's like my number one but besides that, our top three, but my number one is just meeting everyone. You ready? I think I have top four. No, it has to be top yeah. three. You can't I'm, do it. I make my own no, rules. No, no, I make my own anyway, rules. Anyway, number three for me is actually meeting, um, oh my God, his name is... How are you going to forget and it's in your top three, honey? Uh, Jim Mafood, is that his name? Jim? Is, it was Jim? Is it? Mr. Mafood. Because <laughs> I'm not sure I remember his first name. I think it's Jim Mafood, but Mr. Mafood, because we weren't expecting to see him at all. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait a minute, this guy's on Vivi. And we were in Artist Alley. We just happened to come across him. And that's one of my favorite things is discussing Vivi with artists that are on the platform. Because they are just as surprised as we are that this stuff is popping the way it is. And... It was an incredible conversation. If y'all want to see our conversation, we actually caught it on live stream. So check out our previous live stream where we're in the artist alley. I wish we could tell them like what minute or second to like fast forward to. Yeah, it's way. like on the on the second half of the video. Uh, but it was quite a lengthy interview. <laughs> because <laughs> they're totally gonna know. Or like halfway. Second half on the back end. Oh, on the back end. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if y'all want to see it, it's, it's a great interview because he was, he was surprised, he was excited, and he was just fascinated with yeah. the idea of an NFT and what it can do. So yeah, that was my number three moment. Well, and not only that, he's an artist, he writes books, he, I mean, he puts his art like in so many different like, um, what's the word, categories, uh, platforms, platforms, possible ways of like, um, just spreading his art. And obviously, so he can make his a living off of his art. So that was really cool. He was a really cool guy. You actually took my number two. Oh. That was my number. That was my number two. Well, what's your number? Well, now you can put the, instead of doing four, you can put three now. So what was your number three? Okay, I got it. Um, so my number three moments. <laughs> Bitch won't tell us. <laughs> oh my god is the cosplay what the cosplay oh, yeah so we were on it was friday early stupid morning we met this guy um as we were lining up to go in and he was dressed up as green goblin and we actually told him about vv but this guy it took him a year to make his costume guys that is dedication a whole year and then I met Squirrel Girl, Captain Carter, Max took pictures with Gambit. Um, he pulled who out else? a card. Uh, we saw uh, um, Moon Knight and um, uh, all sorts of characters. Oh, Billy from Hocus Pocus. Um, you know, like the zombie looking guy. Mm -hmm. There was so many people were dressed up and I know that they put so much effort into it and so much passion and excitement. Yeah, the cosplay was amazing. My number two? Yes. My number two was meeting True. I have wanted to meet this damn girl for the longest time. It's one of the only VV fam that I have not met. I love True's 
most true is, is one of my favorite people on vv if you know? not your most favorite yeah pretty much pretty much don't, I, and don't everybody come out once trying to <laughs> attack max but he i love he true loves true. you know i love true because she's one of the type of people that'll tell you like you have food in your teeth you know like she's, <laughs> she's that person and i appreciate that about true so much and we've had I've had plenty of chances to meet her in New York, but something always keeps happening. Like she had to walk her dogs. <laughs> Babe, don't be putting out her information out on the street like that. Like, and I was like, on man, all your homies are in town. You got to walk your dog. Come on now. Come on, true. But nah, I got to meet her this time. And she walked in and she made eye contact with me. She didn't know who I like. I didn't know who she was. I've never seen her. I've just heard her for like over a year. And she made eye contact with me. And in my head, well, I'm like, is that true? Is that true? But like, if I scream true. And it's not true that that's like embarrassing as hell right so i like kept my eye on her and i was like is she, true? she came and she's like and i'm like it's fucking true let's go and i hugged her for like i don't know how long and then i gave her another hug and i was like i'm so happy to meet you we got it done that was my second favorite moment true it was awesome to meet you girl girl I know, baby. You were so happy in that moment. That might, that might be one of my favorite moments, too, because you were just so happy and excited. Mm -hmm. Smiling from ear to ear, like he, he could not break that smile. He was so happy. I took a picture with her, but we're not going to post that. because We're she's, not. She's we're incognito. not going to post it. Yeah. 616. Now, we're going to do our giveaway of the VV thing. Um, okay. I'll flash it up on the screen. But whoever gets it, enjoy it. Um, I wanted to do it because VV was with Marvel, so 616 at that time stat. If you got this far, enjoy that giveaway. So my number two favorite moment was Max took it, which was his number three, but I switched it. So my number two favorite moment is, okay, when you walk into a, a con, a D con, um, we've been at Expo Dallas, we've been to other like little um, events that are smaller. You walk in and you see other booths, right? So you know what they're, what the booth is is or whatever like you'll see if it's tokidoki or you'll see if it's like ultraman or anything like that so as we're walking to um vivi which was right next to the marvel booth just walking up to it and seeing vivi next to marvel like i, I saw it in um san diego comic-con we saw pictures we saw videos it was really exciting but to see it in person like it gave me, and I know Vivi's not mine. Like we, we all know Vivi's not ours, but because we've been here for so long, we've gone on this journey with them. We've seen all, you know, like the ups and the downs and like the in-between. It just gave me like this really proud moment. And I was so happy for the company. It's an out of, out of body sacred experience. It is like I was, I even told I, revealed. <laughs> I told David and Dan, like, I'm so happy for you guys. Like, this is something that you work so hard for. And I'm sure at times they wanted to give up. I'm sure at times so many doors closed that they were like, why should we continue? But they did. And because of them, we have these amazing um, digital collectibles. But even more important than that, we have all these connections. Because of this crazy idea that these two guys had that they brought together, mm -hmm. it brought all of this community together. We and know, then we know, we know people like Lenny. Lenny, yeah. I like mean, who else do we know people like? Um, Vivi Magic. We know people like Kermit. Kermit, Sharky. We know people like Gooch. Um, Randy. We know people uh, like Dan and David. Darian. We Kenobi. know people like Eagle Eyes. We know everybody. Ski. Oh, I love my ski. Oh my God. Oh, Sean. I love Sean so much. No, but it made me just walking up to our booth. What? I just want to let it be known. Let the record reflect that my wife said, oh, I love my skeet. <laughs> Sorry, that was a DJ. What's wrong with that? That was a DJ inside of me. Oh continue, my God. continue your story. Go ahead. What's wrong with saying I love my skeet? <laughs> I do. Okay. I, you know, guys, sometimes I don't know what, you know, Continue, the trend honey, is, continue, but anyway, continue. yeah, just walking up to that booth and seeing that, oh, man, it was just so cool. All right. It was right. really, really cool. All right. A really proud moment, really happy moment and a moment filled with excitement. Okay. Like 
Um, I would like for you to say your number one because I want to end it on my number one. So I'm not looking forward to Max's number one, please. but my number one is getting the opportunity and the honor and the chance to meet Peach Momoko. It was incredible. And I just, oh my gosh, this girl, let me tell you, the talent, first of all, out of this world. And she is such a hard worker, guys. Like, you should have seen the lines. And she was just signing away her little heart away, doing the remarks. Shout out to her wrist. And her husband is so supportive. Oh my gosh, he was there helping her. Oh, she was so cool. I just, the only thing that I regret is that I didn't learn how to speak Japanese. That's all right, you can learn. It's never too late so to learn. So I could communicate like fully with her. She you should did... have threw out Google Translate and be like, I'm an admirer of your work. I'm not she even gonna- have, not... She didn't even have time for that. She didn't even yeah. have time for that because she she's like, let's go. And, um. She's just very sweet, a very sweet soul. You could just feel it. You could feel her energy. And yeah, that's my number one. Number one. Okay. Okay. I hate that this is Max's number one. I my really number do. one. <laughs> and possibly Janie's uh, most embarrassing VV moment to date. So, and mind why? you, mind you, I love my wife. I, I would never like laugh at her despair. But in this case, babe, I'm so sorry. So we're at the room. But you're gonna party. laugh at my despair. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna okay, laugh at her. Okay. We're gonna laugh at her despair. Am I right? embarrassed? Right, but I love my wife. I love my wife. So we're at the rooftop party. Shout out to Sanjay uh, for making it. Oh happen. yeah, big shout out to Sanjay for organizing that. Seriously. Yeah. Amazing, super cool place. Had lots of fun there. It was okay, awesome. she's stalling. She's stalling. Yes, okay. I am stalling. So, so we're at the rooftop party. And guess who walks in the door? None other than the homie, Ron English. And we're like, oh, cool, Ron English, whatever. You know, we're not the type that are like, oh my God, you know, and go crowd him. But like, whenever- We, we like giving people their space. Yeah, yeah, whenever you we know. get the chance to meet him, we will. And if we don't, then oh, we'll meet him later. Whatever. So Sanjay comes up to us, introduces us, and you because, know- Because, fun fact, Ron English is from Dallas. Yes, he is. So that's why Sanjay, you know, we're Texas fam, from the Dallas Why didn't fam. we include him in our picture? Oh, we should have. Maybe because of my dying embarrassment. So. <laughs> it's going to be like, really? I'm going to take a picture with this chick? Sanjay's like, like, meet the Omi homies. And Janie's like, hi, Ron. My name is Janie. This is my husband, Max. And I just want to let you know <laughs> that you're responsible for my favorite collectible on Vivi. I love the rainbow lavacore. <laughs> <laughs> and Vivi, I, I'm, I can't believe that the moment happened. So I'm like in, um, in, in, in the hangover where he's like, like I'm trying to put two and two together. I'm like, hold on, I, is, am, am I like miscalculating here? And Vivi Magic jumps in and she's like, wait, that's Kozik, isn't it? And I just see my poor wife just do something. J she just like melts away. She's like, oh my god. And then she like, like borderline runs away, leaving Ron like they're standing and not, you know, just. The most awkwardest of moments you could ever imagine. And I laughed my ass off. I couldn't believe it. She was embarrassed. I was amused. It was funny as hell. And then she's like, I'm so embarrassed. Oh my God. And I'm like, babe, Ron English is about to meet a hundred more people. I promise you he's not going to remember 10 minutes from now. Like it's my, all good. My biggest thing was, and and I'll, I'll hopefully get the chance to talk to Ron in person and let him know. <laughs> I, my thing is like I have so much respect for these artists. We've met many and it, it's been such an honor and so much fun. So I just don't want to disrespect his work, you know, and also Frank Kozik's work that I will never forget that the lava corn is Frank Kozik ever again. So I just want to make that clear to him. I, it did not come from a mean place. All right, babe, if you had the chance to talk to Ron right now. Ron, I'm so sorry. Hold Please on, hold on, hold on. Ron, this one's for you. Ron, I'm so sorry. I I really messed up. Like, party foul to the ultimate infinity extreme. Ron, I know you don't remember, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you <laughs> when you come to I, Dallas. I appreciate your work. And, you know, 
Frank Kozik. I'm sorry too. You weren't there. You don't even know me. But yeah. Oh my God. It was so embarrassing. Guys. Amazing. Amazing. And, and then while Janie's in her despair and digging about like, who can console me? We turn back around to see who Ron is talking to. And out of all people, it's Mr. Lavacorn himself, John, John from Spaces. And we just die and I laughing. Just die because I'm just like, of course. Oh my gosh. Of course. So that was our story. And, and I, hilarity ensued. Go ahead. And I just want to give a shout out to all the people and all my my friends that I told in that moment that really tried to console me and make me feel better. We laughed a lot. A lot of people were like, I, Jamie, like, <laughs> you, you party foul, bro. But a lot of people were very comforting. At one point, I almost did cry. <laughs> I looked at Max and I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. But I'm so glad this is your number top yes. one moment, yes. baby. I loved it. Like, I loved I'm it. so glad. I know I'm mean. I know I'm a mean husband, but I don't give a damn. That shit was funny. That shit. That, I, I, I like appreciated the moment because it brought like levity. Like it, 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 it was a. It was fun. It was fun. It was funny. It was fun. We died laughing. Vivi Magic died laughing. What does? <laughs> It was, she like Vivi Magic said. It, it's a core memory for her. It's a her core memory. Yes, I'll never forget it. And, Thank and, you. And you know what? I'm glad that we shared that moment with her. If it had to be anybody else from our friends, I'm glad it was her 100. percent mm. And um, I'm sure you regret not taking your 360 cam mm -hmm. <laughs> because you would have caught that in yeah. live action. Yeah, it's all good though. It's all good. Anyway, those were our top three. Thank you guys for. Um, hanging out with us and we do want to say this let's not make it a 30 minute expo here but like for everybody that has like recognized us and has shouted us out and showed us some love um you guys could be watching any video in the world on youtube from the millions but y'all choose to hang out with us and to watch our video and to laugh with us hopefully and um we're we're coming up on the next decon and and from this last comic con we were just so grateful and excited that people actually f with us like that so thank yeah. you guys a heartfelt we love you and we're gonna keep making videos if y'all keep rocking with us yeah. so it, we're just full of gratitude and it's been really fun and i just love all of you guys truly truly and i think this wraps up our video right mm -hmm. do you want to wish them anything yes Particular. guys as always i wish you all the coins and i totally i wish you all the new cameras that we need to get uh, we need to get a new webcam but that's, that's okay. all right just, that's just, okay. just let it ride let i it ride. wish you all the coins and all the collectibles and whatever makes your soul happy i wish all of that for all of y'all and i wish you guys that all your dreams come true and that you know all of your artists by name and by design and by work thank you honey thank you for that come on, come on, come on.